In our today's video we will learn what is synchronous motor and how does it work. What are the main basic parts of the motor? How to calculate the synchronous motor speed? Applications and uses of synchronous motor. Welcome to Technical Library, subscribe the channel for latest videos and updates. What is synchronous motor? To understand the synchronous motor first of all we must know how the motor does it work. As we know motor has two main parts, stator and rotor. When we give the electric supply to the stator it creates magnetic flux in the stator. These magnetic flux force to rotate the rotor of the motor. In the asynchronous motor the rotor speed is less than the magnetic flux created in the stator but in the synchronous motor the rotor speed is the same as the magnetic flux created in the stator. So, we can say that a motor which has the equal speed with magnetic flux is called synchronous motor. Now let's look the construction of synchronous motor. Construction of synchronous motor. As like other motors synchronous motor has also main two parts, stator and rotor. But synchronous motor rotor is wounded rotor it means the rotor has also its windings. Synchronous motor always runs on synchronous speed. Stator frame. The stator frame is the outer part of the machine and is made up of cast iron. It protects the enter inner parts of the machine. Stator core. The stator core is made up of thin silicon laminations. It is insulated by a surface coating to minimize hysteresis and eddy current losses. Its main purpose is to provide a path of low reluctance for the magnetic lines of force and accommodate the stator windings. Stator winding. The stator core has cuts on the inner periphery to accommodate the stator windings. The stator windings could be either three phase windings or single phase windings. Rotor of synchronous motor. The rotor is the moving part of the machine. Rotors are available in two types. Salient pole type. Cylindrical rotor type. The salient pole type rotor consists of poles projecting out from the rotor surface. It is made up of steel laminations to reduce eddy current losses. A salient pole machine has a non-uniform air gap. The gap is maximum between the poles and is minimum at the pole centers. They are generally used for medium and low speed operations as they have a large number of poles. They contain damper windings which are used for starting the motor. A cylindrical rotor is made from solid forgings of high grade nickel chrome molybdenum steel forgings of high grade nickel chrome molybdenum steel. The poles are created by the current flowing through the windings. They are used for high-speed applications as they have less number of poles. They also produce less noise and windage losses as they have a uniform air gap. DC supply is given to the rotor windings via slip rings. Once the rotor windings are excited, they act like poles. Working principle Working of synchronous motors depends on the interaction of the magnetic field of the stator with the magnetic field of the rotor. The stator contains three phase windings and is supplied with three phase power. Thus, stator winding produces a three phased rotating magnetic field. DC supply is given to the rotor. The rotor enters into the rotating magnetic field produced by the stator winding and rotates in synchronization. Now, the speed of the motor depends on the frequency of the supplied current. Speed of the synchronous motor is controlled by the frequency of the applied current. Motor speed can be calculated with the help of this formula. NS equals 120 F slash P. Where, NS equals synchronous speed of the motor. F equals frequency of the AC current, hertz, supplied to the motor. P equals total number of poles of motor windings. If the load greater than breakdown load is applied, the motor gets desynchronized. The three-phase stator winding gives the advantage of determining the direction of rotation. Types of synchronous motor. Non-excited motor. In these motors, the rotor is magnetized by the external stator field. The rotor contains a constant magnetic field. 
High retentive steel such as cobalt steel is used to make the rotor. These are classified as a permanent magnet, reluctance, and hysteresis motors. In permanent magnet synchronous motors, a permanent magnet is used along with steel for rotor design. They have a constant magnetic field in the rotor, so induction winding cannot be used for starting. Being used as gearless elevator motors. DC current excited motor. Here the rotor is excited using the DC current supplied directly through slip rings. AC induction and rectifiers are also used. These are usually of large sizes such as larger than 1 horsepower etc. Applications of synchronous motors. In a synchronous motor, the rotor turns at the same speed with the stator rotating magnetic field. Unlike an induction motor that relies on rotor slip to induce current into the rotor to generate torque, in synchronous motors there is no induced current and subsequent rotor losses. Usually, synchronous motors are used for applications where precise and constant speed is required. Low power applications of these motors include positioning machines. These are also applied in robot actuators. Ball mills, clocks, record player turntables also make use of synchronous motors. Besides these motors are also used as servo motors and timing machines. These motors are available in a fractional horseshoe size range to high power industrial size range. While used in high power industrial sizes, these motors perform two important functions. One is as an efficient means of converting AC energy into mechanical energy and the other is power factor correction. The power factor correction is possible by using a synchronous motor, operating on no load with overexcitation, in parallel with induction motors or transformers. The leading reactive volt amperes supplied by the synchronous motor compensate for the lagging reactive volt amperes of other power apparatus. Synchronous motors, however, are generally more expensive and a DC supply is a necessary feature of the rotor excitation.